want to thank you really and I really want to appreciate you for coming to my channel my TV channel um, for this wonderful broadcast I am not doing this broadcast just for the fact that I want to do a broadcast I'm doing this broadcast for you the most important thing in life will cost you money and time for the next 30 days we are looking at changing your lifestyle let's begin first with for this broadcast let's let's communicate let's let's deal with how do you think Are you willing to change the way that you think? <clears throat> Are you willing to change the way that you look at the world in which you live? <clears throat> Excuse me. Are you willing to change the way that you rationalize things when something is not working out in your favor, are you willing to change the way you look at the issue without creating a drama? The way you think and the way that you are not willing to sit down and think is getting in the way of your progress. I can assure you that if you were willing to think that you are capable of starting small and getting there. That is becoming famous and great. If you think that you can achieve the impossible then the impossible will achieve you if you think and you are convinced enough because you see the first thinking that you have to do has to do with you what you are willing to convince yourself and let go of emotion, let go of crying, let go of blaming yourself and others for how things did not work out right or how things worked out right to somebody else's advantage. If you are willing to begin to put yourself first then everything will begin to respect you because of the decision you have made those who make 
quality decisions that will affect their own personal lifestyle for good. They end up becoming quality in everything. The world does not listen to weak people. In fact, it will destroy weak people. The world makes space and listen to strong people. In fact, your name will be removed and what you've done will be wiped out from the book of those who are alive on this earth, whether now or after you come. And it will be based on, hold on, it smells good. I can't remember what colon I put on here. It smells good. I love it. All right. Your name will be retained in the annals of history based on whether you showed weakness or you showed strength, even in your mistakes. Change the way you think about what you are capable of doing. Because the first defeat has happened to you, and the second defeat has happened to you, and the third and many others. Because you do not have the conviction about what you are capable of achieving. That's why you are running to everybody to see which one will stick, which one will work out. That's why you are going to every shrine, every temple, every synagogue, every mosque, looking for help, reading every book. And the answer is here. The answer is here. Spirit mind fusing not clashing and producing the real you if you fail to think about the greatness in you the champion in you the hero in you and all you do is looking at other people to the detriment of yourself. Then you will be a big loser. Big losers are people who believe that other human beings were born better, that they were born and equipped with something better. Whereas that is not true. They were born the same way you were born. I want you to stop thinking that you came to help other people to solve their own problems. As a ruler that leads and a leader that rules, I am here to move you into the place where the way you think changes. The way you think changes. It changes because you are convinced that what you are willing to put yourself into, the rigorousness, the smartness, the hard work, the detail in one thing or 
want to. Especially one major thing that we call your assignment, your destiny, that it will produce result that will change you first, not others, you, then the rest. You think good about you so that you can do good about you. Please write that down. You think good about you so that you can do good about you. You think good about God you think good about you so that you can be good to you. And in return, if you are good to you, then you will be good to others. Mm. Everybody ran away from Goliath. A teenage boy changed his own thinking. And knew that he has bush training coupled with supernatural assistance. He knew. I don't like to use the word believe. Because that's cheap. Talk and believe. is They are cheap. I use the word knew. He knew that what is in him is big, is great. There is a supernatural deity, person, dwelling in him. And possibly, he was the eye, the hand. Divinity was being personified in him at that time. And he went ahead and brought down a giant. What you think will dissolve the problem. The way you think good about you will dissolve the problems around you. Please write those things down, Marjorie and honey. What you are thinking about you will release the best about you. Write that down. If you think bad things and worse things about you, it will release both in your chemical and biological makeup something totally different from the world of great people. If you begin to think that one day what you are doing will be a great fruit, then it will. If you are the type that start and then along the way you give up, it shows how small your brain is, and how small your life is. Those who are unwilling to go further will end up being slayed by other people, being delayed, and being shackled and sold. Change the way you think about you. That because you are now a son of divinity, son of God, child conceived by spirit and born again, by the king. 
That means that you now, based on that priority, you now have the capability to change your environment. So when people bring doubt or life through doubt, through fear at you, through poverty at you, and maybe you were born with some disability or some poverty or some bad things, yet it matters, but along the way you're gonna leave those trends behind. If life has thrown trauma at you, you should be willing to reverse the thinking. See, people do bad things to you in order to make you think defeat and fear. Making you incapable to see the real you. Because of who you are in God, you can tell yourself, I am a good person. I have what it takes to change me and to change mine. <clears throat> don't let life and people and evil things change the way you think think beauty think prosperity think riches and wealth think health think life think money Stop thinking about this other thing because they are murderers in the world, rapists in the world, immoral people, idol worshippers, bad people, ignorant people, arrogant people, death in the world, devils in the world, the universe. So you begin to think that way. You begin to think ugly. You don't know why someone did what they did, said what they said, and they begin to suck you with their words and action to a world that does not belong to you. When are you going to walk away from other people sucking you into a universe of their own, not your own? Wow. Stop getting defeated because it's not good for you. People constantly overpower you with their personality. It's not funny. It's not fair. People overwhelm you. They conquer you easily. In everything you say yes to other people. When are you going to begin to say, I don't like this. This is what I like. This is what I want. Your being quiet is not going to take you anywhere except to nowhere. And of course, it's a place to be quiet and you are being a talkative will not pay. See, let me tell you, I am here to tell you that the word impossible should not be part of your pronouncement. That's what I want you to know. Change the way you think about you. Now, let me share this. If you want me to help you to change you, 
within these 30 days or whenever you are going to pay for it for the service to do that if you want me to sit down with you either 30 minutes or an hour you're gonna go online to go and do that and then um, when I go to the Kaimeri Dot com you go to specialized services and you will find you will find a way to do that it, it is there you will be able to pay for that service changing your lifestyle I will sit down with you and help you change your lifestyle I mean if it's gonna be 30 minutes if it's gonna be one hour then you're gonna pay for it. I'm not doing it for free. I don't do it. The real things I do are not free. I'm just being I'm just being truthful to you. You can go online and do that or you can call 316-665-4400. Or email us. You can email us. Idikai Mary at Idikai Mary Ministry dot com or Idikai Mary two thousand at gmail dot com. Please don't write me a prayer request thinking that I'm going to be praying for you. I don't do that. We we have special squad that take care of such things. But if you if you want me involved. It's gonna cost you money. Good things are costly. They are not cheap. Now, um, what I have been talking to you about is called changing your lifestyle. The, you want the entire lifestyle to be changed. Then, will do that. It will cost you some money. It ranges from a thousand dollars to two thousand dollars seed for me to do this. I'm serious. From a thousand dollars to two thousand dollars. If you want me to strip you of everything that you've held very dearly and put in its place different things that you have to do that will make your life work. And I'll do it. I'll help you. All right. See, if you want to write to us, it is P.O. Box 2491, Wichita, Kansas State 67201, USA. I've already given you the phone number to call 316-665-4400. Leave us your full name and your phone number. If you live outside the United States, send us an email. That will be that will be very good. Or call us at the normal business hours, which is eight o'clock to six o'clock Central Standard Time. All right. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next broadcast. This is Idi Kaimeri.